every obstruction to my destiny. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go and get your comb. We want to do miracle service. Spread this water. You, you, sure? you have to expect miracle alerts. Olive oil is idol worship. Handkerchief as mantle is idolatry. We turn Christianity into a joke. Some of you said if you don't pay tight, you will not make heaven. You didn't turn Christianity to a mockery and a joke. When you reduce the entire work of Christ to mammon, that a man can pay tight and he has entered heaven, you were not turning Christianity to more than a joke. Kumin is the key. Kumin is the key. Kumin is the master key. Go and get your comb. We want to do miracle service. Go and get your comb for miracle service. You are looking for a job. Go and get a comb. You are hungry. Go and get a comb. You want promotion at work. Go and get a comb. You want to jackpot. You know see visa. Go and get a comb. You they look for a wife. Go and get a comb. You they look for picking, go and get a comb. <laughs> you they want you want to build house, please go and look for a comb. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, go and get a comb. If you want to go and apply in Dangote office, carry your comb. If you want to go to American embassy, UK embassy, Germany embassy, whichever embassy, carry your comb. If you want to go to central, I mean bank, if you don't get money inside your account, carry your comb. If you want promotion at work, just go before your ogre and in the office and do like this. My ogre in the office, 
Bye bye. My old guy, the office. Bye bye. It is time to promote me and leave the seat for me as the chairman. Bye bye. If the uh, embassy you won't go, you want to go and apply for visa, <laughs> just carry that comb where you take free. Go to the embassy and tell the uh, person we go interview with the embassy. What do they call them? Tell the person we go interview you. Tell and say, you oh, yeah, give me my visa. Bye bye. Bye bye to Nigeria. Bye bye. I want to go to London. Bye bye. I need a visa. No, I don't need a visa. Bye bye. Just help me to call Charlie. I want to come to London. Bye bye. You will find yourself in London. No button. You see prayer points. I say make we pray. I don't cook. Have you talked anything way bad? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Just comb your hair. Bye bye. And if you want to make money, <laughs> you want a lot of uh, goody goody in your life, money to enter your life account, promotion, just call me to the front. Go and meet uh, your guy. You are looking for a job. Say, oh yeah, I don't come. Oh yeah, I don't come. Oh yeah, I don't come. They will give you the job. Look at them. <laughs> Here you This water wants to spray it. Toutefois que vous allez l'asperger. Young man spray it in the potter gut. Le jeune homme l'a fait à part à court. And the people that is spray upon the water, miracles started taking place. And people that were are, are far off. That in the venue, many miracles took place. So this water is right. When I look around, the Lord spoke to me, Papa Jay, my son. He said, come, go and get a mustard seed. Mm. And that time I was in Israel, I went to Israel. When I got to Israel, God gave me, gave me the Israel seed, mustard seed. seed. So he said, keep this seed, when the time comes, I am going to make you to use it. Today, the mustard seed are here. <laughs> People are not crying. It's why my business is not growing. Mm. Who is the person that sent you with the word of God to back up the mustard seed? There's mustard seed. Do you hear that? I know Yes. If I give it to you, if you go out now, anywhere you want to go and believe, if you're a business, you have, if you want your business to expand, but after my prayers, mm. hey, wow. How? Are you hearing me? Hearing so we are, every source is a perfume. Wow. It's a perfume that breaks the limits. Because this limit must be breaking. There are some people that open all the tried that they tried in life, yet they cannot pass the level. Some people they started wanting to build, they cannot. So you have to use this one. I will tell you when the time comes of okay, the program. There's a program coming up. Break the limit. Not be only Jeremiah they sell uh, water and soup. Some they sell coconut. Some they sell oil. Some they say water, many they say water, may they go carry all, may they not carry only Jeremiah, may they go carry every, may they go check the NAVDA. How NAVDA accept? I understand you want to sell bottled water. NAVDA can verify that this bottled water is clean, it has low impurities. This is the mineral content. But the problem is, NAVDA cannot verify whether the water they do miracle. So NAVDA cannot put their stamp on a miracle water. Hmm. NAVDA could go further disclose that through the director of post-marketing surveillance of the agency, the Delta State Coordinator was reached to find out the records of any deal with the spiritual ministry and the products in the Delta State Office where they are produced. The state coordinator covertly bought the Miracle Water 25 CL for 3,000 Naira from the ministries and took the picture, said Navdak in the statement. The agency revealed that on Wednesday, the state coordinator visited the Mercy Land Ministry and met the head of service, Mr. Gunle Yenfufein. 
and the chief security officer, but the officials denied producing miracle and healing water or soap, even with evidence of the receipt of purchase. Ah, what are anointed in Paro? What are daily anointed in Ironi? Oh, but you see, on Daddy Free's life, we do things the right way. We hear from both sides. So, Prophet Jeremiah Fufei has only so responded. He has come out. Oh. According to the BBC, which also means big, black, channel. Now this thing where they drink. Oh. Olubumi say that man is not anointed. How many of them are anointed in Nigeria? Kama Tonrawa. How many are anointed? Me, I don't know any. I can keep quiet before I enter trouble. Hey, this thing where they drink will put you for trouble. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. So, according to the BBC, said it, the senior prophet, now pigeon they take right to this one, of Christ's Messiland Conference Ministry, Jeremiah Fufain, say, no be true, say in ministry, they use national agency for food and uh, the administration and control NAVDAC to deceive Nigerians. So, for one statement he released for a social media account, Prophets say in ministry, no, they use NAVDAC number. Where they, the spiritual products, where they sell to deceive the country people. This they come after NAVDAC been alert Nigerians to the activities of the ministry. Say them, they use the name of the agency, deceive unsuspecting Nigerians. So for their own page, Fufei say, in no they deceive anybody. If you read the story for Daily Pulse, maybe they write this one for English. My English is better than my ass. As my eye don't they dirty, they go. My English is. The senior prophet of Christ's Mercy Land Ministry, Jeremiah Fufei, says he did not use the name of Nafdak on its spiritual items to deceive Nigeria. Fufei, who also refuted the allegation in a statement and criticized the report making rounds with the caption NAVDAC investigating Pastor Jeremiah Miracle Water Soap DG said the publication was false. The statement said Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry is a law-abiding Christian church and recognizes the extant laws of the land and even the NAVDAC Act. In this regard, and as a Christian association, we are guided by section 39 and 38 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that guarantees all Christians and our church the right of freedom to religion. <laughs> oh, thank you for all the gullible uh, Christians we have in Nigeria. Yes, it's not, uh, we realize that. Uh, our problems are not uh, spiritual. Uh -huh. Our problems are rather physical. But we have Yahoo Yahoo in uh, different sectors. A lot of people think that uh, it's only those young boys who have been rendered jobless who press computer are Yahoo boys. But there is so many Yahoos. Yahoo start from government. Government is the original Yahoo. And we also have Yahoo in police system. We have Yahoo in judicial system. The real Ogakpata Kwata of all the Yahoo is churches and mosques. This man! Go straight to the points. I know a lot of you are going to cost yourself because you guys don't have sense. Pastors have stolen your conscience, your mind, your money and everything. They made you unemployed. They made you not have uh, your children in school. They made your... Um, uh, your road a uh, motorable that's the same thing government are doing because they become the uh uncle tom 
You know, when the white people left us, thinking that we are not dependent, we're not, we're not dependent. We don't have our independent. They left us for some criminals who came, you know, as a pastor. Now look at what redeemed our uh, church. The son did. Very stubborn, very rude and nasty son of his. He went from uh, Lagos to Kaduna State to meet Arrow 5. He took a contract of a billion. Eight billion. The contract, he didn't do it, abide on it. The contract was also reviewed. More money was added to it. He didn't do it. And the ESCC chairman, president chairman, is from Redeemed Church. Now, the criminal minded, uh, oh, uh, 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 um, you know, um, Redeemed Church, uh, son, whatever his name is, very, you know, um, you know, criminal minded. This is a man who told us that he had breakfast with, Niger uh, with, with God and Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. I've never heard that before. My question is, did you have tea with him or did you have a bye? Or you have a widow and, uh, uh, and uh, Amala with, uh, with Jesus? You didn't tell us that. The same man again who told us that when he was going to America, it was snowing because he was going to do uh, a crusade. He stopped the snow. This is weather. It's only God that can stop the weather. No man has ever done that before. Because the man has dementia and most of his followers also have dementia they have lost their senses they believe anything this old man will tell them even when he tell them to go and die they will die the man will tell you to be fast and shaking your head like mortal engine you will shake your head and you think that you are going to make heaven with that you don't even enjoy this life that we are living and living that we understand that yes in life we're supposed to have water we're supposed to have uh, food you know, we're supposed to have uh, infrastructures and all that. We're supposed to work for it because God does not build bridges. This man, uh, <laughs> keep lying to people. You call him G.O. Now, the son took eight billion from Kaduna, where you have a majority, where you have children who are out of school, where you have one of the highest uh, child child uh, 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 birth mortality. You know, where you have uneducated women who are supposed to be educated with this money and nothing happened because he went to court judiciary in Nigeria that is very corrupt you know with the help of his uh, church member in EFCC in the inspectoral police office with all the connection he has to go and get an injunction so the money of Kaduna State can just go like that in vain now I ask myself questions what shall he profit the son of a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Some of you motherfuckers who hasn't got it right. The white people gave you Christianity. Today, the white people are closing churches and turning this, those, those same churches to factory because of their children so that they can be given fully employment. But in Nigeria, it's opposite. We are rather closing factories, factories that our children will work and turn them into churches. Nigeria is the only country you have a capacity of 100,000 people sitting in the church. But Nigeria doesn't have a capacity where you have 1,000 people working in the factory. What an abysmal failure. How do we get here? How is it going to change? I have said that we are alien to democracy. We need something very drastic so that if this is in China and the son of a general of Asia of a uh, 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 who own the redeemed church, he will be executed publicly. <laughs> execute his son. This is what is obtainable in China. I am not lying. The law should not be meant to criminalize the poor like us only. The law should also be applicable to the rich. What does Oye want in life? Why is this still stealing? Because he paid the father. 10% of the 8 billion, which was 800 million. So he will not go to hell. Please, please, I just want to ask this question. Um, This man, what is his name? Pastor E.A. Adebu. The character he's portraying now, is it how he, he has been? Or his old age that is disturbing him? Is it because he's, he, 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 he's edgy? That's the reason why he he, he he no longer know wrong from right and right from wrong. All he care about these days is money, 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 tight, offering, bra, bra, bra. Aside that, 
<laughs> the shock of this his testimony is something i will not be able to dilute digest all alone i want you guys to witness the testimony and give me your own like your own um how would i put it to your is this suggestion no is it advice no is it support no is it what should i say i don't actually know but i want you guys to go through this particular testimony this man gave and tell me if he's wrong or right if he's actually making any sense because to me there's no sense in that words i asked god for 50 dollar a 50 euro or 50 pounds he gave me and I said, God, I wish I like seriously. Now, all day they worry Papa. Yeah, the boy, I've been I know just one. The thought truth. Calm down. Wash it together with me. Then you come back and tell me what you feel in a conversation. Remember the time I told you that I was in Britain and I ran out of money and I prayed to God, God, please give me fifty pounds. How many of you remember the story? All right. If you don't know the story well, I asked him to give me 50 pounds. Very soon, he provided the 50 pounds. True, wrong number, telephone call. I took the 50 pounds. I was going upstairs to sleep. And I was saying to God, if I had known that you would provide 50 pounds so quickly, I would have asked for 100 pounds. Few minutes later, he produced another 50 pounds. <laughs> I said, God, if I had known that the second 50 pounds would come so quickly, uh, maybe I would ask for a third. And in less than one hour, he had provided 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, three times. Then I became afraid. Oh, I pray for you today. You will not be afraid of blessings. Remember the story. So I, I, I said to God, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just joking. You know. The original 50 pounds would have been good enough. So I didn't ask any further. Years later, God told me, Sir, instead of asking for 50 pounds, if you had asked for 50,000 pounds, I would have given you. Tonight, the capacity to be blessed in your life will be enlarged. So sin, that's what God says, sin withhold good from people. But we pastors, we, we don't say sin withhold good from people. We say witches in the village. If somebody, for instance, is not married, we now say there's a there's a spirit husband withholding the person's husband from coming when somebody is poor grinded poverty and financial freedom and financial freedom is being withheld from the person we will say there are altars in the village that need to be broken when somebody is is uh, going through some crazy experience in life that have refused to go away despite prayer and everything we say oh there's an ancestral spirit there's an evil altar that needs to be silenced so that the person can be free but the scripture says it is sin that withhold so when we now start pursuing those things that does not really withhold good from coming we have become lawless. Do you see the way spirit of lawless has operated? We have become lawless. And because the spirit of lawless, as I'm going to see later, gives miracles. So whenever you become lawless, it gives you a miracle to keep you on the path of lawlessness. That's how you hear people saying, drinking of oil is working for me. Raising of altar is working for me and stuff like that now you know ask yourself who are the who are the people who are turning what the scripture says it begins from the leaders the bible says sin have withhold good from you but we are saying spirit husbands evil cultures all kinds of stuff bad position you are suffering because your first born and all these things we say they have withhold but anybody who live a righteous life cannot see those things 
Because the Bible says, in righteousness, you shall be established. I'm not saying anybody will live a religious life. You can live a religious life and yet you are not righteous. Righteousness is right standing with God. It's a life where you cannot trace lawlessness anywhere. The reason why when God spoke to you at Horeb, he did not allow you to see any image. So that you don't start replicating images. You don't start painting pictures and begin to worship those things like olive oil is idol worship. Handkerchief as mantle is idolatry. Using water, you know, for as part of a routine of, of healing is idolatry. Anything that replaces what Christ has done for you is idol worship. I'm not joking. So, to a greater percentage, a lot of Christians are in idol worship. That's why somebody is traveling, he will carry a bottle of oil in his pocket. Any small thing, he will sprinkle. He will splash. That bottle has replaced the place of Jesus in his life. Idol worship. You have a bottle of oil, you cannot lie down without the oil. Small thing in the night, you stand up, you carry oil as if oil is Jesus. You're, some of you have, I mean not you here now, some of you watching me, you have a carton of oil in your house that you brought to church for the man of God to pray upon. Isn't it funny? Oil with manufacturer date and expiry date manufactured in Sangota. You carry that bottle and then you bring to a man of God, which you yourself are a man of God. He collects the bottle and he prays in Jesus name, the Jesus that lives inside you. He is praying in the name of the Jesus that is living inside you over an external bottle that he will give you to carry and be going with. So if it is the name of Jesus who lives in you that is doing the work, why do you need the bottle? Idol worship. You are used to images. You are used to carrying something. You are used to having something. Talisman. You are used to carrying small charm. You are used to carrying small, small, small things because you can never visit native doctors without them giving you something. Small pepper, small salt. Don't allow anybody to touch it. You bring it and put somewhere inside your house. They give you small powder. They say this is magic powder. When you want to confuse the man, spray small. Put inside this water, give him to drink. And you don't realize that all those things were created by God. They don't have any power. There is a name that is above all of them. So Christians are carrying idols around. Handkerchief. The man of God has rubbed his face with it. If it's before now, after this service, you see people struggling to collect this dirty towel. Some will even soak it inside water and drink. I To fear quack. Say the man of God. The man of God sat on it. The man of God sat on it. That's why a pastor will sit in a chair. When he stands up, people come and be kneeling down. Idol worship. When God spoke to you, you saw no image. Because he doesn't want you to worship anything that he created in his place. Modern day paganism is huge. They call them spiritual items. Spiritual what? Why do you need items when the spiritual himself is inside you? That which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit. Are you born of the spirit? You yourself, you are the item. So recently, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Feng is currently trending because on the issue of prosperity and miracle water. So um, it was seen that Prophet Jeremiah was selling miracle water, miracle items, spiritual items, all of that. But it now seems like Prophet Jeremiah is not the only one involved in this matter. It seems like Prophet Jeremiah is not the only one involved in this issue. Just as that the freeze has said that it is not only Prophet Jeremiah that is involved in all these spiritual items selling issue. Because as, as you can see in the video, this is Pastor Iye Adeboye seen with his church members combing air for prosperity, just as the video has said. So it we, we can see now that it is possible, as we have seen, that it seems like it is not only Prophet Jeremiah that is involved in this prosperity gospel of a thing, in this um, spiritual items of a thing, because 
It is, was never found anywhere in the Bible. I'm not sure it was never found anywhere in the Bible. Whereby God instructed his people that they should start combing their ears for prosperity. I'm not, that is, I'm, I've never found that in the Bible before. Whereby God instructed his people, the Israelites, that they should start combing their ears for prosperity, doing all kind of, you know, a bit fetish things. Such is not found in the Bible. So, um, as it is now, it is not only Prophet Jeremiah or Mount of Fain that is involved in all the spiritual items of a thing. People say that Pastor Adeboye is also guilty, is also guilty of this of this charge, of this thing. So that Prophet Jeremiah is seen doing these things does not mean he is the only one involved. So that Prophet that Pastor Adeboye is even the master is even the mastermind is even the the uh, the orchestrator of this selling of spiritual items of a thing i think there was a video whereby pastor Debu was seen um with the issue of um bangles for prosperity also i think there's a video like that too so all these things together have um made people come to a conclusion that prophet jeremiah is not the only one involved that pastor Adeboye is also involved in this prosperity gospel in this selling in this spiritual item selling of a thing so that we should not only blame prophet jeremiah that we should also blame pastor adeboye because he also is involved in this selling of spiritual items in this thing in this thing there's there's no difference they are they are similar they are the same thing that he also is involved in this thing that he also should also be blamed and condemned and criticized well the main thing there is that whether pastor adibuye is involved or not whether he is to be blamed or not whether prophet jeremiah is involved or not the main thing there is that all these things are fetish that's the main point that's just the main point all these things are fetish and they are never found in the bible so every christian out there should be careful and watchful because the rate, the rate, the rate at which false prophets, fake prophets kept on arising these days is the, it has become more alarming. Some people are no longer believing in Christianity anymore because of the rate at which false prophets, false fake prophets are, are arising. So Christians, Christians out there must be at alert and must understand the, the devices of the devil. So no one is concerned about who is guilty or who to be blamed. The fact there is that all these things are fetish and not to be followed or or obeyed because they are never found in the Bible. Nowhere is it found in the Bible that God instructed some people to use water, holy water, spiritual water, this or that, spiritual comb. Or it is never found in the Bible. So Christians must be careful and watchful not to fall as a victim, as a prey to this device of the devil.